Hey everyone, in this video I'll teach you how to delete your Discord messages quickly. So first off you want to go into your browser and enter this link. It's to github.com and in here we'll basically download the extension that allows us to do this. So once you're here you want to scroll down a bit and under on Discord we'll select our um, preferred browser. I'm using Chrome so I'll click on this violent monkey link In here, uh, you want to click Add to Chrome, Add Extension. So once the extension has downloaded, it will be in the top right corner. I'll click on here. This is all my other extensions. And I'll pin it just so it sticks out. So we'll go back. And in here, now we can install on Discord. So on Discord, on Discord will allow us to um, I'll click Install the script. I'll just, I've already downloaded it, so I'll confirm. It will be downloaded here for you. And now we can go to Discord, but not the app version of Discord, but rather the web version of Discord. So now that we're on Discord, you'll see a trash can in the top right corner. There's a lot of options here. It may look confusing, but it's pretty simple. So, so author ID is the person whose messages you want deleted. So I'm in a private chat here, so I only have two people, but I'll select myself. Uh, we get IDs by going into user settings, into advanced and developer mode. So developer mode has to be on. And with this, we just right click the person and copy user ID. So I'll paste my ID in here. Uh, the server ID and channel ID, you can just click current if you're in the, if you have it open on Discord. Uh, select whether it's not safe for work or not. Now, see, this is the filter section. So you can filter out by link, file, or pin messages. There's a pattern section. You can delete by in interval. So my first message here was at 9.36 a.m. I'll copy the ID of the message and paste it here. My next, uh, or rather my last message, I'll copy it as well. And I'll, I'll um, click delete. So it says here that it'll be deleted in 11 seconds. And there it goes. So you just need to leave Discord open while this uh, extension takes care of everything.